Hey guys, welcome back to another yoga adventure. This yoga session is based on the sacral chakra. Um, so go ahead and if you have your sacral chakra spray available, um, give yourself a few spritz now. Starting today on our backs, let's place the soles of our feet together and lay back. Um, if you have blankets or pillows and you want to prop up your knees for extra support, definitely go ahead and feel free to pause this video and do that now. sacral chakra is the second chakra in our main chakra system. It's associated with creativity and sensuality um, and its primary function is the principle of pleasure. So as we begin tuning into our breath and deepening with each inhale, relaxing into each exhale, I encourage you to find pleasure in the breath. During this class today, let's focus on our senses together. So as we're practicing, notice the taste that is in your mouth what you are seeing inside your mind and outside your mind. Um, the sounds that you hear, not just my voice and the music, but in your space as well. And we'll begin to open up through our senses. And on your next inhale, let's raise the soles of our feet straight up to the sky stay here for a little while, allowing our muscles to relax in this posture. And on your next exhale, allow your feet to gently move apart from each other, allowing your hips to slowly open any amount. Let's bring our feet together back at the top pointing our toes and bending our knees, allowing the soles of our feet to touch the mat, lifting the right leg only up and bending our knee across the left thigh and slowly bring your left thigh in towards your chest as you interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, creating a gentle figure four stretch. very gently in our body and breathing deeply into our hips. And exhale as you release the grip of your hands, crossing that right leg over the left side of your body into a gentle recline twist. Exhale. 
Let's inhale and Inhale as we come back up to center, shifting our hips and taking a few windshield wiper movements with our knees in both directions, allowing our hips to loosen up and we'll take our left foot, raise it up to the sky and cross our ankle over our right thigh, bringing our right knee in towards our chest and reaching under our right thigh interlacing our fingers, gently pulling in our leg close to our heart. And definitely not forcing anything, just allowing our body to slowly open. Breathing deeply into our hips as we release any tension that has been stored in there and is ready to be let go of. And on your next exhale, we'll loosen the grip of our hands, allowing our feet to find their way back to the mat. Arms stretch out to the side and our right knee comes across our body, taking a nice reclined twist in the opposite direction. And we're focusing on our breath and the feelings of being in our body. Let's bring awareness to the smells around us as we breathe in and as we breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Shifting our hips back towards the center of our mat. And we're going to allow our feet to touch and our knees are open and Supta Baddha Konasana. Noticing if this feels any different from our first Supta Baddha Konasana. As you close your eyes, try not to lose yourself in the moment and become aware of what we are seeing with our eyes closed. Do you notice any patterns or shapes or colors or maybe it's all black? Whatever you're seeing, no need to judge. Just take note of and let go as we roll on to the right side of our body. Whatever side you choose to start with is perfectly fine. We're just going to take our top leg and we're really going to engage our core here by pulling our belly button in towards our spine and up towards our throat. So wherever you are, bend your top knee and 
bring your knee down and up two three four five six seven and eight awesome extend that top leg flex and really push through your heel and point and flex and point and flex and point and let's rotate our ankle rotating and rotating and the opposite direction just loosening up our joints and rotate and rotate awesome now we're going to do some side leg lifts by raising our flexed foot up towards the sky side leg lifts for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one awesome and hold it bring the toes of our feet to touch bending both our knees and bring our knee down to meet the bottom for ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one extend your legs out long push and let it go amazing let's roll onto our backs now and finding our way back into supta baddha konasana translated to bound angle pose this pose is really great for stretching the inner thighs and knees so let's allow our arms to just gently relax overhead and focus on our breath. And imagine our knees are almost floating upwards to the sky. So we're not trying to push them down. We're just allowing them to be where they are. Let's roll on to our opposite side now, gently propping yourself up with your arm. Let's bring our knee in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Stretch that leg out as you point your toe and flex and point and flex point and flex point and flex and rotate breathing still engaging our core in the opposite direction rotating and rotating and let's leg lift for 10 eight seven six five four three two and one great job let's point our toes and lift our feet up in the air bending our top knee into the lower for ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one extend both feet out pushing pushing and relax onto your back finding supta baddha konasana once again inhale and exhale finding joy in the breath feeling pleasure in breathing feeling your body on the mat feeling the space around you let's place 
the soles of our feet on our mat and using all of our core strength to lift ourselves up and awesome and let's come into a cross-legged position and let's keep it really loosey-goosey no need to take things so seriously it's just yoga so about the sacral chakra it's all about creativity and joy so let's have some fun on our mats today um we're going to start with some nadi shodana this is also called alternate nostril breathing I love um, this because it makes me really happy. It's also called happy breath. So we're going to take our thumb and our forefinger and we're going to place that on our knee. This is called Gyan Mudra. It initiates the highest wisdom in our being. And on your dominant hand, we'll take our thumb and our pinky finger, and we're going to take our thumb and press it into the indent of our nose. And it's a gentle press, it's not like pushing into it. And with our pinky finger, we're going to gently put it on the opposite indent of our nostril. Awesome. We're going to push down gently on our right nostril closing the airway as we inhale through our left nostril once the air has gotten into your left nostril we'll close the left nostril with our pinky finger and hold and now let's let go of our right nostril with our thumb and exhale Inhale through the right nostril. Push down your thumb into your nostril and hold. Release your left pinky as you exhale through your left nostril. Inhale through your left nostril. Close the left nostril as you hold. Release the right nostril as you exhale. Inhale through the right nostril. Press down as you hold. Release the left nostril as you exhale. Inhale through the left nostril. Place down your pinky as you hold. Release your thumb as you exhale through the right nostril. And begin doing this breath at your own pace. If you feel guided to and safe, slowly start to close your eyes, maybe a little bit, maybe a lot, maybe all the way. And focus on the repetition of the breath and the movement. Finish up on your left side, bring your hands down back towards your lap and I hope you feel a little bit more happy 
Let's raise our arms up to the sky as we inhale. And exhale our hands down towards our mouth. Inhale, our hands come up. And exhale, hands come down towards our mat. Inhale again, arms up. And exhale, fingertips touch the mat. Inhale, big stretch up and coming through prayer down towards the center bowing our head to our heart and setting an intention for our practice today to cultivate more joy in our lives and allow more joyful experiences to come to us. So let's take Yon Mudra and we're going to start uh, warming up the spine by twisting left and right. As you twist to the left, we're going to inhale and to the right, we exhale. So. It starts to build up the heat, moving faster and faster and faster and faster until you can't move any faster and you're just breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. Exhale our hands down. Awesome job. Coming to our hands and knees now. Let's just roll it out. Finding any organic movement. Coming backwards in our seat and rolling forwards. Forwards and backwards and side to side. Just doing whatever feels good to you and your body today. Whatever you're doing, make sure you're rotating in the opposite direction as well. Now would be a good time. Awesome. Yeah, get into any creaky parts of your body that may need a little more love and attention. Keeping it very loose, very organic, very natural. Awesome. Let's come on to our seat, closing our eyes and placing our hands on our lap. We're going to rotate our neck up and down, round and round. Rotating the opposite direction. Again, noticing what you're seeing, how you're feeling. Mm, we'll come back up to center, rotating the wrists in both directions. Just taking some spirals and clasping our hands behind our back, lifting up, loosening up the shoulders, rotating our wrists again. Awesome. Good job. Coming onto our hands and knees, tucking our toes as we push back into downward facing dog and not taking any movements yet just noticing where we are landing in our downward facing dog today breathing into any spaces and pushing firmly into the palms of our hands let's take our right leg lifted up to the sky and bending our knee rotating our hip Taking some circles in one direction and allowing the hip to splay open. Let's bring that knee in towards our hands, placing our foot on our mat, lifting up into Anjane Asana, planting the hands, tucking the toes, stepping forward, flat back, 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, step up. Exhale, hands come down to the hips. Inhale as we bend our knees, lifting up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right leg steps back. Inhale, up Anjaneyasana. Coming forward, planting the hands, stepping back, downward facing dog. For three, two, one. Rolling over the toes into plank, knees, chest, chin. Rolling forward into baby cobra. And coming back into child's pose. Inhale. Exhale. Mm, rolling over onto our hands and knees, pushing back into downward facing dog. Left leg comes up to the sky this time, rotating our knee in one direction. In the opposite direction, allowing our hip to splay open towards the sky. And bringing that knee in towards our chest, planting our foot on our mat. Landing our knee as we lift up on Janayasana, planting our hands down towards our foot, stepping up into a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift up to the sky and exhale, hands come down to our hips. Inhale, bend the knees as you lift up. Exhale, dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Right leg steps back, lifts up on Janayasana, planting the hand, stepping back, downward facing dog, rolling over our feet, knees, chest, chin, lifting up into cobra and back into child's pose. our hands and knees tucking our toes as we lift back into downward facing dog right leg comes up let's rotate our leg in our hip joint and just nicely loosening up that hip lifting up and bringing our knee in between our hands allowing the back leg to come down as we lift up into anjane asana Lifting up as we step forward, half back, exhale, forward fold, inhale, all the way up, exhale, hands come down, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, half back, left leg comes back, touching the knee towards your mat as you lift up, Anjane Asana, stepping back, downward facing dog, roll forward on your knees, lifting up into cobra and stepping back downward facing dog left leg rotates and rotates and rotates loosening up the hip and we'll lift that leg up and bring it in between our hands as we allow our back leg to touch the ground lift up on janae asana Straighten through the front leg as you step forward into flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up and lift a little back. Exhale, hands come down to the hips. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half back. Exhale, as you take your right leg back, tap the knee to the mat as you lift up on Janae Asana. Pushing into the hands as you step back, downward facing dog, roll forward, knees, chest, chin, lift up and roll back onto downward facing dog. Let's slowly step our feet towards our hands as we tiptoe and tiptoe and step closer 
and we're on our tippy toes divers pose as we lift up opening the heart reaching backwards and really finding strength in our legs and our core and we're breathing here breathing and let it go dive forward fold Great work, guys. Grasp your elbows with your hands. Mm, find a nice ragdoll shape. And if you get dizzy at all during this next part, just stop. But we're going to take really, really, really big circles coming from your hips. So lifting up with our arms and just let yourself fall down. And come up and fall down. And lifting up and exhale down. And lifting up and exhaling down. And we're just loosening up our upper body and feeling strength in our lower body. Let's go the opposite way now. Lifting up and letting ourselves go. And lifting up and let it go. Circle up. Let it go. Upwards and let it go. Whoa. Awesome. You made it. Let's find a nice Tadasana. Ground into that energy that we just built. Close your eyes if you feel safe and feeling strength and courage and joy inside you and around you. widen our stance as we place our hands on our hips starting to circle in one direction taking the biggest circles you possibly can just start circling your hips and feeling into your body and finding joy in yourself Let's rotate in the opposite direction. of your feet, trusting in your body to hold you up. Any effort is amazing and maybe find a little dance here and start playing with um, just feeling good in this posture and maybe it's to take your mind off of the burning pain that you're feeling, um, but amazing. Let's forward fold and let it all go and just breathe allow your legs to stretch out and awesome coming into a nice yogic squat malasana and opening those hips I like to place my hands on the floor to kind of like pry my hips open a little bit um, you could bounce to take a little pulse whatever feels good for you right now everything that i'm saying is just an invitation for your practice so let's forward fold and 
come to the top of our mat and nice forward fold inhale lift up half flat back exhale step the right leg back step the left leg back knees chest chin lift up and push back into downward facing dog right leg comes up and if you have a wild thing in your practice feel free to take that now if not stay in downward facing dog and if you're in wild thing flip over everybody lift your right leg up to the sky and place it in between your hands stepping up into a high lunge spiraling out into warrior two lifting forward up and back peaceful warrior and straighten through that front leg take a nice big side body stretch as you cartwheel your right hand down to the inside of your right foot lifting up with your left arm and extended side angle reaching our hand down and twisting into our left hip as we lift up with our right arm so we're on the outer edge of our left foot and gently just kind of pulsing into that outer hip and rotate it back to center Coming back into extended side angle, taking a bind if that is in your practice. Opening your heart to the sky. Let's straighten out through the front leg. Let's bend into the front leg, placing our back knee on the ground, lifting up Anjane Asana. Coming forward. Mm heel toe heel toe heel toe our right foot to the right as we lean into the outer edge of our right foot coming forward into lizard really great hip stretch this gets really deep in there and definitely feel free to use props if that feels good for you and you have them available Wherever you are, breathe into the space and place your right foot on the ground again. Heel toe, heel toe back to center. Lifting up through your left leg and stepping back into three-legged dog. Take wild thing if you did it before. Otherwise, stay in downward facing dog wherever you are. Come forward into plank and lift up and back into downward facing dog this time left leg comes up and take wild thing if that is in your practice reaching up overhead feeling into the expansion of your front body and let's flip that dog over left leg comes up to the air everybody coming forward as we lift up into high lunge awesome Plant that back leg firmly on the ground as you come forward into warrior two, lifting up and back, peaceful warrior. Straighten through the front leg to get a nice side body stretch. And cartwheel your hands down towards your mat as you shift into that outer edge of your right foot. Let's do a little pulse here. Small, subtle pulse as we spin, planting the sole of our foot back on our mat, lifting up, extended side ankle. Allowing our heart to open up towards the sky. 
Straighten through the front leg as you use your core to lift you up into Trikonasana. And cartwheel your hands down towards the mat. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, our left foot to the left edge of our mat as we find ourselves in lizard on the other side. Pushing our left leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog, flipping over into wild thing. Breathing. Let's flip that dog over, rolling forward into plank. Go through your vinyasa at your own pace, and when you're ready, right leg comes up. Wild thing. Flip it back over, right leg comes up again, bringing our knee in between our hands as we lift up into high lunge. And spiral into warrior two. Reaching forward, up, and back, peaceful warrior. Straighten the front leg, getting a nice side body stretch as we come forward to the extended side angle on the right side, planting our hands and rotating into the outer edge of our left hip, lifting up with our right arm, Coming back to the center, tucking our back knee, lifting up into Anjane Asana. And rolling back onto our heel, half split. Lifting up, back into high lunge as we sink and come back into extended side angle, taking a bind. If that is in your practice, heel toe, heel toe, your right foot to the right side of your mat as you lean forward into lizard. Place the sole of your right foot back on your mat, bring it up to the center and lift up, three-legged dog, wild thing, coming back into three-legged dog, rolling through plank, flowing through your vinyasa, or skip it, totally your choice, whatever fuels your joy in this moment. Let's take our left leg now, lift it up to the sky, and take wild thing. Flipping it back, lifting our left leg back up to the sky, planting our foot in between our hands as we lift up into high lunge. Coming forward, warrior two. Reaching forward, up and back, peaceful warrior with extended front leg. Let's bring our left leg to the inside of our left foot as we lift up through our right hand. Take a bind if that is in your practice. Let's 
spiral to the other direction as we find a nice stretch in our right hip. Left arm comes up to the sky and bring it back to center. Lifting up Anjane Asana and coming forward, bringing our seat to our back heel into a half split. Inhale as we tuck our foot, lift up, high lunge. And exhale, coming forward, warrior two, bringing our left hand to the inside of our left foot for extended side angle with our heart open. Let's bring our hands to our mat as we heel toe, heel toe our left foot to the outer edge of our mat and come forward into lizard, opening our hip and breathing into this space. And on your next inhale, push up into three-legged dog, flipping over into wild thing, and coming back into downward facing dog, rolling through plank, flowing through your vinyasa or skip it. Either way, let's meet in downward facing dog, come forward into upward facing dog, Push back, downward facing dog. Roll forward into upward facing dog. Bend the knees, sit back, downward facing dog. Right leg comes up, right knee comes in between the hands, stepping down, high lunge. Opening up the hips into warrior two, lifting up and back extended peaceful warrior bringing our right hand down extended side angle and breathe and release your grip as your hands come forward twisting into the outer edge of your left hip as you lift up with your right arm. Let's place our hands down on our mat, bringing our feet to touch into side plank. If you need to modify this, feel free to bring the top foot onto your mat, um, just right out in front of you. Otherwise, you can take your top hand and kind of like crunch it in towards your back and let's roll over into plank and push back into downward facing dog where our leg comes up bringing our knee in between our hands we lift up high lunge and open into extended side angle Straighten through the front leg as we lift up and back, grabbing the outer edge of our left foot. Breathing into our thighs. And let's release that grip as we come into lizard once again finding more space to breathe into finding joy and pleasure in the discomfort knowing that we have a beautiful body that carries our spirit and our soul Wherever you are, let's tuck our toes and lift up three-legged dog and flip over into wild thing. And come back into three-legged dog, rolling forward into plank, lifting up and tucking our feet back, downward facing dog, left leg comes up 
Bring your knee in between our hands, stepping up, high lunge. Opening up into warrior two. Reaching forward, up and back, straighten through the front leg, peaceful warrior. And let's cartwheel our hands down, extended side ankle. Up, placing our hands on our mat as we twist into that right hip. Lift up with your left arm. When you're ready, place your front foot on top of your bottom foot for side plank. And you can place your foot out in front of you if you need a little support otherwise go ahead and take your top arm and do some under body crunches wherever you are come back into plank and push back downward facing dog left foot comes up and forward in between your hands as you heel toe heel toe your foot to the outer edge of your mat Coming forward into lizard once again. Let's lift up into three-legged dog. Bring our foot in between our hands as we lift up into high lunge. And coming forward, extended side ankle. Lifting up, cartwheeling our hands down. Left arm comes up and behind, grabbing our right foot. Breathing here. Awesome. Let that grip go wherever you are and roll forward into a half split and plant that front foot down on your mat as you heel toe, heel toe your left foot to the outer edge of your mat. Coming forward into a lizard on your left side. And as you breathe, elongate your spine and exhale, release any tension. Oh. When you're ready, place the sole of your foot back on your mat as you lift up and back into wild thing. Reaching, reaching, reaching. And come forward into downward facing dog. Slowly step towards your hands once again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees as you lift up to the sky. And exhale, ha. Coming back into goddess. Come on, guys, we got this. We're just going to lift our heels up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down we're alternating our heels as they lift up we're so strong oh my god it's amazing now hold it awesome let it go fold forward good job yay <laughs> And pigeon toe your feet in, coming forward into a nice wide legged forward fold. Stretching out our calves here, all of those muscles that we just put so much energy and effort into. And we're breathing. Place it on our sacrum to stretch. 
straighten out our hips and raise that arm up to the sky. Create a nice twisting shape. And come forward, walk yourself over to your opposite leg. Breathing here. left arm, straighten out your sacrum and lift up into a twist. Fantastic. Now let's walk ourselves over to the middle, clasping our hands behind our back and bringing our hands as close to our head as we can. Just opening up those shoulders, feeling a nice stretch in there. Fantastic. Placing our hands on our mat and heel toe, heel toe. Our feet up a little bit into flat back, bending the knees as we lift all the way up and exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, lift up, exhale, dive forward, forward pull. Inhale, flat back, exhale, left foot steps back, knee on the ground as we lift up, Anjane Asana. Come forward, placing the hands around the foot, stepping back, downward facing dog, slow roll into plank, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga dandasana, lift up and back, downward facing dog, right leg comes up and in between your hands as we heel toe, heel toe our foot to the left now, coming forward into pigeon, hooray, we made it, great job. And inhale as you open your chest, uh, allowing your head to gently tilt backwards, opening the throat, and slowly roll down. Feel into where your hands are touching, where your feet are touching, and breathe into those spaces. Allowing your breath to slow down. So if we're happy here, feel free to stay where you are. If you have a pigeon variation you would like to come up into, now would be a great time to go ahead and do that. So wherever we are, make sure we're breathing deeply and moving mindfully in our bodies and not forcing anything that doesn't want to be. We open up slowly with time and patience and practice and breath. So if you're in regular pigeon, come up now and take your left leg over your right knee as we inhale, open the chest and exhale, come forward into Gomukhasana. Mm. 
when you inhale lift yourself back up and let's bring our leg back around as we come onto our belly into sphinx just taking a nice gentle stretch through our heart and our abs kind of using our elbows to pull our body forward as we open our throat and let's come back onto our seat pushing back into downward facing dog right leg comes up step our feet to our hands lift up half back exhale forward fold inhale arms up Exhale down. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Plant the hands on the mat as you step your right leg back. Knee plants on the ground. Lift up. Anjani Asana. Hands come to the ground. Step back. Downward facing dog. Come forward and flow through your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog, left leg comes up, knee comes in between our hands, heel toe, heel toe, our left foot to the right side of our mat. As we lift up into pigeon, opening our heart, feeling into our hips and making sure we are feeling safe and supported by our bones. And everyone, let's come forward, relaxing our third eye on our mat. Taking nice, deep breaths. And if you came up into a pigeon variation on the other side, go ahead and come up now. Again, making sure we are moving mindfully and with intention and safety and breath. up to the sky, exhale, coming forward with our heart, forward fold, and on your next inhale, your hands to slowly push yourself back up and we'll bring our right leg in front of us and our left leg in front of us and if you have your chakra spray go ahead and give yourself a little spritz right now inhale arms come up and exhale Forward folds, folding into ourselves, finding a moment of introspection.
and slowly begin rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae inhale as your arms come up and exhale slowly lower down vertebrae by vertebrae yeah and we'll tuck our shoulders underneath themselves lift our hips up into a nice bridge position bridge is a really great posture for strengthening the back and alleviating stress it improves circulation of blood and calms the mind so this is one of my favorite postures ever all types of bridge it's just like very relaxing mm, let's lower down on our backs and if wheel is in your practice go ahead and lift up into wheel otherwise go up into bridge again they both have amazing benefits of calming the mind and strengthening the back so wherever you are let's lower down one more time catch our breath And one more time, we lift up in either bridge or wheel. And wherever you are, slowly lower back down towards your mat. Bringing your shoulders back and feet extended long as we take our last breaths into Shavasana, letting go of our practice, letting go of all of the work we put in today. Letting go of our mind. Just let it go.
slowly begin deepening your breath. Fingertips and your toes. Rotating your wrists and your ankles as you raise your arms up, taking a big stretch overhead. And when you're ready, rolling on to the right side of your body, making a pillow with your arms and just breathing here. As best you can without opening your eyes, use your hands to bring yourself back up to a seated position and inhale your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come down in prayer to your third eye. Inhale, exhale, hands come down to your lips. Inhale, exhale, hands come down to your heart. Bowing your head to your practice today. Showing gratitude for yourself and your body. And I thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Namaste.